Buddhism is the fourth largest religion in the world. And it is also a transnational religion, meaning that we find Buddhists in every country in the world, and there are a number of countries in the world that are majority Buddhist. Most Buddhists would think of themselves as belonging to one of three schools of Buddhism. Theravada Buddhism, which we find in South and Southeast Asia, Mahayana Buddhism, which we find in East Asia, and Vajrayana Buddhism, which we find in Tibet and Mongolia. Buddhism really starts with the story of Prince Siddhartha, who was born in present-day Nepal 2,500 years ago. And when he was born, a great sage came down from the mountain and told his father, the king, that your son will either be a great emperor or a great spiritual teacher. The king was determined that his son would become a great emperor, so he vowed to shield his son from the suffering and misery of the world and kept him inside the palace walls, where he lived a life of luxury and hedonism. But when Prince Siddhartha was 30 years old, he snuck outside the palace walls and saw for the first time human suffering. And he vowed not to return to the palace until he had solved the problem of human suffering. Over the next six years, he spent wandering through forests in India, looking for truth, until he finally came across a tree in northern India. And he vowed to sit under that tree in meditation until he became enlightened. 49 days later, he became enlightened, and he was known as the Buddha, which in Sanskrit means the one who has awakened. Buddhism is different than the other major world religious traditions because it is not oriented around God, but oriented around man. And what Buddha taught is that we create our own suffering and the path out of suffering lies with us. We can alleviate suffering by changing our perception of ourselves and our world. Buddha taught that we suffer because we crave, because we're focused on ego, and because we assume things are permanent when they're actually impermanent. And for Buddha, the way not to suffer is to recognize that everything is impermanent, even ourselves, and to recognize the transitory nature of all things. And once we do that, then we can achieve nirvana. Buddhists believe that we're already enlightened Buddhas and we just have to realize that ourselves. And for Buddhists, because the focus isn't on God, we can transform ourselves to become enlightened. We can understand the world in a particular way where we see the truth of our own natures. And in that respect, Buddhism is a self-empowering religion that many people gravitate towards because it doesn't necessitate that they worship any particular deity or engage in any other type of ritual other than meditation, contemplation, and introspection. Hi, YouTubers. I'm excited to give you an update about our own YouTube channel. Now you can find new videos every day. They're the kind of videos that will make you look at life differently. They may even make you laugh a little bit. Who doesn't need a daily dose of that? So here's just a taste of some of what you'll see. Subscribe to the OWN channel today, and we'll see you on YouTube.